optics and fiber optics are all part of an exciting emerging field called photonics. Photonics applications improve the procedures and equipment used in medicine, defense, aerospace, robotics, telecommunications, environment, solar energy, and lighting. Careers in these photonics-enabled technologies are challenging, interesting, and highly rewarding in terms of pay and advancement. Photonics provides career opportunities for people in a variety of fields. Photonics enables scientists to create new applications for lasers and optics. Engineers use photonics in designing new equipment and procedures. Technicians who have studied photonics are able to make things work and keep them working. Development of new photonics devices creates opportunities for business people whose job it is to make organizations aware of how to acquire these new devices. But talking about photonics careers is not nearly as interesting as hearing from a real person who works in this exciting field. As you watch the following interview with a photonics worker, learn about what they do and why they became interested in the field and the type of education they received to prepare for this career. As a manufacturing engineer, um, some of my daily activities include um, reviewing optical drawings um, and prints. Um, I'm involved with a review board where we make changes to prints, design changes that, that occur uh, on the production line. Well, I work for a military contractor um, and therefore a lot of things I work on are classified. So the program at Indian Hill certainly um, with the amount of lab experience and hands-on experience that these students get um, provides a competitive edge. Lasers and light-based technologies are a great career choice for students because unlike many other sciences, physics, um, biology, anatomy, which have been around for hundreds and hundreds of years, lasers have only existed for 50 years. And it's, it's a brand new budding technology. And every day, people are finding new, creative, and um, more efficient ways to do things with lasers. Math and science are some of the most important subjects you can take uh, for any career. But especially in, in lasers, it's extremely important to understand the principles behind why the light does what it does. In the first couple terms, we do small labs with, with small low-powered lasers to understand the principles of light. And then as we progress farther on in the program, towards the last couple terms, you start to do labs with high-powered lasers um, to really see how powerful lasers are and how broadly applicable they are in the real-world environment. Some advice I would give to a student is interested in a career in light-based technologies would be to go to a, a good school like Indian Hills to get a strong background in the principles of light and also to get on the internet and read and see what things are out there. The advice I would give to a potential student would be to you know, come down and check out the campus, check out the lab, um, talk to as many people as you can, um, and just see what it's about. I mean, it, you know, the program provides an opportunity um, for, for students to get into a career field and, and, and start, you know, go to work full time and really develop their career. Seen a great example of the thousands of people who are enjoying careers in photonics. The opportunities are almost limitless and the rewards include good pay and interesting work. But you will need to prepare for this opportunity by continuing your education past high school at a college or university that has a photonics program. It's hard work but you can do it and you'll be glad that you did. Funding for this video was provided by Optech the National Center for Optics and Photonics Education through a grant from the National Science Foundation's Advanced Technological Education Program. For more information on Optech and Photonics careers, please visit our website at www.op-tec.org.